Okay, now let's see how to convert the mixed into improper. So there are a few examples your mixed fractions I have written here. Now I will tell you how to convert the mixed fractions into your improper fractions. So your first example is 3 whole 1 upon 2. So what we have to do, we have to multiply this denominator with the whole number means 3 into 2. Okay, we will multiply this. Then plus your numerator. So here my numerator is 1. So plus 1 upon whatever is your denominator, the same denominator we will keep that is your 2. So it will make 3 to the 6. 6 plus 1. 7. Again see 3 2 are 6. 6 plus 1 7. So it will be 7 upon 2. Okay. Now next example you see 6 whole 2 by 4. So how to convert this denominator and this whole number we will multiply. That is 6 4 is 24. Means 4 into 6 into 4 we will do. Okay. Then after that, whatever is your numerator, we have to add the numerator. Means my numerator is 2. So after that, I will add 2. Then upon whatever is your denominator, don't need to take any ratio and just copy the denominator. Copy 4 as it is. Now let's solve. 6 4 is 24. 24 plus 2, 26 upon 4. That's it. So this is how we will convert mixed into improper fractions. Now, coming on to the next topic that how we can convert improper into mixed these fractions that is 7 upon 2 and 9 upon 5. They are your improper fractions. Now, how to convert improper fractions into your mixed fractions? Let's see. Well, just to convert this improper into mixed, we have to divide it. We all know division the way we used to divide in the previous classes. The same manner we will divide in the thing we use. Like 7 upon 2 is there, so I will divide like this. 2 will be outside, 7 will be inside. Like this. After that, 2, 3 is 6. 1 will be your remainder. Okay. Now, how to represent it after division? Whatever is your question, that we will write down as a whole part. 3, 4. Then this remainder 1 and divisor 2 as it is. Means you observe that whatever will be your divisor, that will be in the same position, 2 will be as it is. Quotient will be here and remainder will be here. Means this pattern. Quotient will be your whole, then remainder upon divisor. So for the extra knowledge, one more thing. This is your divisor, this is your quotient, this is your remainder and 7 is your dividend. Okay. Now, how to solve this one? Okay, 9 upon 5. Again, we will divide normally the way we used to divide. Let's divide. 5 will be outside, 9 will be inside. Okay, now 5 ones are 5. 4, like this. Okay, so how to represent it? Question, you can see, question is my 1. Remainder, remainder is 4 and divisor that is your 5. So if you will solve it, you will see again 9 by 5 will come. I have already taught you that how to convert mixed into improper. You can see 5 ones are 5. Multiply these two, 5 ones are 5. 5 plus 4, 9, that is 9 upon 5. Okay, this is how we have to solve the questions. Okay, now starting with the new question that is comparing the fractions. We can compare the two fractions when their denominators are same. For example, I have taken 5 upon 21 and 4 upon 3. And the question says that I have to compare these two fractions, which one is greater. These two fractions are greater, this one is greater, or this one is greater, they are equal, what is there? So for that, what we have to do, we have to make the denominator same. Here you observe. <coughs> that the one side denominator is 21 and the second side denominator is 3. So denominators are not same. Means we will take the LCM of both the denominators 3 and 21. We already we have done how to take the LCM. We all know. So let's take the LCM of 3 and 21. Means both the denominators LCM we have to take. Now 3 ones are 3, 3 7 are after that 7 1 1. So your LCM will be 3 into 
seven three seven three is are twenty one. So here LCM is twenty one. Now how to solve this here? Five upon twenty one. It's already twenty one. We don't have to do anything here. After that four upon three. In four upon three, what we can multiply to make it as twenty one? In three, what we can multiply? Three. Whatever changes you will do in the denominator, the same changes you have to do in the numerator also. Means here, if I am multiplied by seven, so above also in numerator also I will multiply by the same number that is by seven. Okay, now it is five upon twenty one as it is because no changes we have done. We don't have, we have not done any changes here in this portion. Okay, because denominator is already twenty one. What we need that is our LC. After that, here we have multiplied this and put on the seven fours are twenty eight, seven threes are twenty one. Now, once you will make the denominators equal, then after that you don't have to do anything. You have to just see the numerator and compare. So here your numerator is five and here your numerator is twenty eight. So which one is greater? It's very easy, absolutely correct. So twenty eight is greater. So that means. In five upon twenty one, and the next fraction was four upon three. So this four upon three is greater than the required answer. Okay. Now one more method is there to solve this. That is your cross multiplication method. Now how to solve the same question with that cross multiplication method? Let's see. One is your five upon twenty one. Other one is your four upon three. Cross multiplication is very simple. You don't have to do anything. Simply you just cross multiply. Three will go here. Twenty one will go there. And let's multiply. Five into three. Okay. And twenty one will go there. So four is already there. Shift twenty one to that side and multiply. Four into twenty one. Five three is a fifteen. Eighty four. So which one is greater? We all know eighty four is greater. So this portion is. Greater that means four upon three is greater. Here also the answer is four upon three is greater. Okay. Now let's take one more example. Now arrange in ascending order. There is one question that two upon nine, two upon three, eight upon twenty one. We have to arrange this in ascending order. In your exercise, you can get that either you have to arrange in ascending order, or they can ask you to arrange in descending order. Whatever they will ask, but the procedure is same. Okay. Now here, if you observe in these three fractions, what is different? Your denominators are different. So we cannot compare until and unless we will make the denominators equal. So where we have to work? We have to work here, not denominators. If the denominators are different, we have to make them equal. For that, we have to take LCM. Okay. So now, first of all, I will take LCM of nine, three, and twenty-one. So what I will do? LCM of nine, three, twenty-one. We all know how to calculate the LCM. Now let's see. Nine, three, twenty-one. Three three is a nine. Three one is a three. Three seven is a. Three one is a one seven. Seven one one one. After that, LCM is your three into three into seven. That is three three is a nine. And nine seven is a sixty three. Okay. So your LCM is sixty three. Now, first of all, I will take two upon nine. Then after that I will take two upon three. Then I will take eight upon twenty one. Now what I have to do? All the three fractions I have written. After that what I have to do? I have to make my denominators equal. Means I will see that in my table when I will get six three three. How many times six three three will come? So nine seven is a sixty three. We all know the table, so that is nine seven is a sixty three because we have to make our denominators equal. So whatever we will multiply in the denominator, the same number we have to multiply in the numerator also. So seven we will multiply here, that is seven two is a forty. 
Okay. Now coming on to the next portion. The next fraction is 2 upon 3. So in 3, what I should multiply so that I can get 63. So here, here also you can see 3. I want in 3, what should I multiply? 7 is a 21. Means 21 I have to multiply. Above also the same term. That is 42 upon 63. Got it? Then after that, this term, like here you can see 21 is there. So 7, 3 is a 21. So what is there? Only 3. So now I come to know that in 21, what should I multiply? 3 I have to multiply. Whatever I will multiply in the denominator, the same term I have to multiply in the numerator also. That is 3 here. 3 is a 24. Okay. Now once you will do all this calculation, it's become very easy. Simply we have to compare ascending order means from smaller to greater. So your smaller one is 14 upon 63. Then after that, 24 upon 63. Then after that, 42 upon 63. Now the original one will write down. 14 upon 63 is for 2 upon 9. Then 24 upon 63 is for 8 upon 21. Then after that your 42 upon 63 is your 2 upon 3. So this is your required answer. Means we have arranged it in the ascending order. Now we will see that how we have to do the addition and subtraction of fractions means fraction terms will be given and how we can add them how we can subtract them so let's see okay now we can see that how we can add and subtract the fraction so there are a few examples with the help of these examples i will explain you the addition and subtraction of fractions so your question number one says 17 upon 24 plus 1 upon 24 here you can observe that your denominators are same if your denominators are same, then you don't have to do anything. You have to simply write down your denominator one time, that is your 24. After that, simply you have to add the numerator, that is 17 plus 1, that will make 18. 18 upon 24. But we cannot leave 18 upon 24 like this because we have already done that we can solve this fraction into the simplest form. So this 18 and 24, it is divisible in, we have to see that in which table this 18 and 24, they both are coming. So we know that in table of 2, we are getting 18 also, in table 2 table, we are getting 24 also, means these 2 are divisible by table 2. So 2, 9 is 18 and in 24 is coming 2, 12 is 24. Now 9 upon 12. Now we have to check that in which table we are getting both 9 and 12. Means the same table. In the same table you have to see that you should get 9 also as well as 12 also. Means you don't have to see that 12 is coming in table 2 and the 9 were taken in table 3. No. In same table you have to check. So that is your 3 table. 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 4 is a 12. So, your simplest form is 3 upon 4 or lowest term also we can say. So, 18 upon 24 you will get. After that, 3 upon 4 you will solve, simplify it further and you will get 3 upon 4 as your answer. Same manner you can see that here denominators are same means only 6 you will write down. And after that, 5 minus 1 will be your 4. Now, again we cannot leave it like this. We have to bring it to the lowest form. That is 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 3 is a 6. Now further 2 and 3 cannot be solved. So we will leave it as it is. Easy? Okay. Now this portion that is your question number 3. Here if you observe one part is in your mixed fraction. We have already done that how to convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So now we will first of all convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So first part will be 3 plus. Now 5 twos are multiply this to 5 twos are 10. 10 plus 1 means we have to multiply these two. 5 twos are 10. Whatever you will get add numerator means 10 plus 1 will be your 11. 11 upon 
5. Okay. After that, here yeah, 3, nothing is there in the denominator, so we will write down 1. Okay. Now, we have already done if the denominators are different. What we have to do? We have to take LCM. Means we will calculate, we will find LCM of 1 and 5. So when you will calculate LCM of 1 and 5, you will get 5. It is 5. Okay. So after that, what I will need? 3 upon 1 is there. Okay. I have to make something I have to multiply in 1 so that I can get as LCM as 5. So what should I multiply? 1 5 is a 5. Above also the same thing that is 5 3 by 15 5 1 is a 5. Okay. Similarly your next fraction is 11 upon 5. 11 upon 5. I want my LCM 5. So what should I multiply? Only 1. Whatever you will multiply remember in denominator the same term you have to multiply in the numerator also. So now 11 1 the 11. Once you will do this work, after that what we have to do? We have to add them. So let's add 15 upon 5 plus 11 upon 5. Now we will add them 26 upon 5 we will get. I hope till here it's clear. Okay. So children, all of you try your exercise two way. Try to do it by yourself. Okay.